whitecataractcoach.com. Temporal M S I C S for a white cataract. This is another reminder that you must learn to perform M S I C S. Now, you can sit here temporally and doing a pyridomy. Now, why would you sit temporal instead of superior? Well, it depends. It could be surgeon preference. It could be patient anatomy. What if the patient has a very deep set eye, a very overarching brow, very tight palpebral fissures, whatever it is? You may want to sit temporal. Now, doing a little bit of cautery here. That looks pretty good. And now the key here for this white cataract and MSICS is doing a good incision. Let's watch carefully here. So using a crescent blade about half scleral depth, straight line incision, incision across there. And the key here is the tunnel length. This is a shelved incision. There it is. And going in both directions. Make sure you get a good grasp on the eye there with those 0.12 forceps. Very nice, good tunnel length. And remember, the wider incision is on the inside. It's like trapezoidal shape. Wide on the inside, a little narrow on the outside. Nice trapezoidal shape there. Very nicely done. Now, you're going to need some tripan blue dye to get a rexus done here. Making a paracentesis here. A little bit wider than normal. Maybe that's going to be for a Simcoe cannula later. Now, we can st go ahead and do the tripan blue dye going inside the eye. A little air bubble, too. That blue dye is going to give us a good staining of the capsule, maybe make it a little less elastic. There's your viscoelastic going inside the eye. Very nicely done. Now let's enter. Here's the keratome entering inside. Oh, widening up right from the start. Sometimes I like to just make the narrow entering with entrance with the keratome and then do a capsule rexus. I find it a little easier, but you can certainly do the wide incision right off the bat too. It's a little tougher to control the capsule rexus in my hands. So now going in here with the cystotome. There's the cystotome. Oh, look at the milk. Intumescent lens for sure. So let's decompress that bag, inject more viscoelastic, and wash out, or maybe here, this is BSS, wash out all that intumescent fluid. Let it keep coming out. Decompress the bag to prevent that Argentinian flag sign. So very nice. Now more viscoelastic going inside the eye. And there is a little tear of the enter lens capsule, which you can use to create your capsule rexus. Let's see the rexus. Very nice. Again, with MSICS, don't make a baby rexus. Don't make a four millimeter rexus. How are you going to get the nucleus out of the bag? So here's a nice, generous five plus millimeter rexus. A lot more lens milk. This lens will come up very easily. You can use some high dissection, get that lens out of the bag. Use a chopper. Let's see what we're going to do here. Just die. Yeah, rolling it around. There it is. Get that lens nucleus dialed up. Put a viscoelastic behind it. And this viscoelastic protecting the cornea too. There's your whole nucleus. Now put in, let's see, probably, uh, there it is, a lens loop or lens vectus. Going inside there, get that lens out of the eye and delivered. Beautiful. Now let's clean up the cortex. Again, MSICS is a beautiful procedure. You need to know how to do it. Not that difficult to do. The key here is, of course, a good incision, the trapezoidal incision. Next key is a big, generous rexus. Next key is getting that lens out of the bag and above the iris. And then finally, delivering that lens through a sufficiently large opening of the incision. So look at that Simcoe candle going in there, cleaned up bag, beautiful. Patient's going to have such a nice outcome here. Another pair of these, okay. Hey, did I tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website? So much good stuff there. Way more than just on YouTube, people. Got to check it out. Check out that free PDF book about cataract surgery. There's a whole series about learning FACO, including MSICS. You better learn how to do this surgery. I'm telling you right now. Now, here comes the lens. Looks like a single-piece PMA lens. You got a big incision. Why not? Put that inside the eye here. Make sure you get that in the bag. Nicely delivered. Now, for MSICS that I do in the U.S., which I do on occasion, I will still put a suture in the scleral incisions. So I think putting in one or two tenon nylon sutures can be helpful to get the tissues properly opposed. But in the rest of the world, people do MSSS all the time with no sutures. So it just depends on what your preference is and your comfort level. For me, I don't mind. I'll spend an extra few minutes. I'll put a, a couple extra stitches in there. Patient's going to be happy. So you're washing out your viscoelastic with a Simcoe cannula. That looks great. Lens is nicely centered. Looks like it's in the bag very well. Sealing up the para. Here's one para. Seal up the other para. Kind of a wide para, so make sure you really make sure they're sealed up. Make sure, make sure of that. Check carefully. And then the main incision. Main incision's already closed, so probably just closing up the conjunctiva now. Maybe a little medicine going inside the eye. Maybe some antibiotic. And let's see, a little bit more hydration, perhaps. Yep, that's more hydration. And to close the conj, you can use a suture, or you can just use cautery. So in this case, it's going to be totally suture-less. So here you go, a little bit of cautery, closing it up. 
and call it a game. Beautiful. Very nice case. Hey, check out cataractcoach.com podcast. It's every Sunday, everywhere you find podcasts available. One podcast a week. So many great lessons to be learned. I promise you'll love it.